this hopefully was a learning experience of of how to maneuver through an interview with Mr. Frank Close because this man here is teetering on John McMullen level of range in life and everything else that you can apply to teetering outside. <laughs> uh, well, see, we didn't go full like Socrates and stuff like right. that. So I don't want to put Frank in a position where Mike's going to ask him next week. Well, uh, can you break down what Heraclitus was saying about not being able to step into the same river twice and put Frank in a really oh difficult God. position? Okay. Jeez. Oh, can you tell me about the sword of Damocles, please? <laughs> I'm more of an Aristotle kind of guy. Figured that. Frank and I talk beer. We talk food. We talk everything. That's man. the same thing. It's it, you. You what? can't say beer and food. It's like you know. We talk Seinfeld. We talk Friends. Yeah, it's the same we, thing. we talk about all. We go to Clearwater at the. Actually, Frank and I. Frank's been, Frank's been working here for what three seasons, and we go down there all the time. And every year, he leaves the day before I get there. Every time we get well, to tell that this you year. something, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that is, seriously, yeah. it's probably a result of these interviews. Hey, yeah. Shander, <laughs> I want to, I want to see how many people. First off, what are the better odds? We like to talk odds. Yes. What are the better odds that this wedding actually goes off, or that something will ruin it beforehand? My wedding? Yes. I heard you uh, talk uh, about a wedding. And that Harry doesn't want to go to the wedding. Now, I like a wedding. I'm a fan of the wedding. Don't worry. You're going to be invited. I like to see people's lives get shuttered right before our very eyes. I like <laughs> yeah. to be in the crowd. Well, I, I, that. I imagine that a lot of people are going to want to show up to see that happen to me. <laughs> I, I've, I've written a lot of big checks, <laughs> yeah. and I don't mean money. <laughs> no, no. All right? Right. So uh, here's the thing. Normally, I'd say, I'd say even. Okay. Normally, I'd say those odds are even. Even odds on that. Wow. Normally. Okay. Normally, I'd say. But but this, I've got way too much money. First off, I love this girl, and it's the first time that I've ever said that I'm not going to do anything to screw no, it up. this wasn't a swipe with. right, right? No. Well, uh, there's, there's, a, var well, there's wow. a variable. Whoa. There's a Whoa. variable. I'll explain. I'll explain the story, okay? She lives in my building. She lives four or five doors down <laughs> from me. I met before I swiped and connected with her on Tinder. Oh we met God. in the real world. We met in my building at the mailroom. Oh, at that point, wow. I was hitting on her. We talked This for is about breaking 20... news yes. on 97.3 <laughs> ESPN <laughs> FM, South talk... Jersey's sports leader. You got the ID out there, all right? You, you have the area where the transmitter is. You and... met at the mailroom. So huh? we met yeah. at the mailroom, mail call, okay? Oh, okay. We met at the mailroom. It's not a gay bar. No. It was the actual mail room okay. where I have things taken from me. Was there a picture on the wall in the mail room that you had to kiss everybody when you when they greet it when they came in? <laughs> no, I, I don't get that reference. Oh, come on. Man. Seinfeld. Frank knows we talk about it all the time. You should try it. Wait a it. second. <laughs> what, what is the reference of the mail room where you have to kiss everybody? No, when, when they went walk? into the building, everybody had oh, to kiss Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I got it. Okay, I got it. I was focused on the mail room. On, on the other mail where Costanza. Yeah, uh, has the picture that oh. he takes with the poster, and Kramer's trying to stop the mail. That's what I thought you were going down. Oh, Sorry. when Newman, when Jerry delivered the mail for Newman, and they yes. fired him because the mail was he, getting was delivered too, too was, quickly. Right. Yeah, he was right. too good at it. So we met in the building, and right. I talked to her for about 25, 30 minutes. And listen, I put the pressure. You know, I was hitting on her and everything like that. She, she was not interested, but she's a very nice human being. That she's not just going to snub me. She, she, yeah. humored me. With the 20, 25 minute conversation, and then that was it. I just sent you a bill. <laughs> and now, she, and that quick, so it went from she wasn't interested that she humored you to now she's getting married. Yeah, how, this how is how unbelievable. This, how did well, this transpire? Four months like that. Four months later, we swiped and matched on Tinder. So it oh, wasn't wow. right away. It was months later that we matched on Tinder, and then I was like, "Hey, remember me? I I saw you a couple <laughs> months ago, <laughs> newsroom." Oh Mail room, God. I mean. Yeah. This is a great story. Oh, my God. How did I not know that? Yeah, bad really? job, uh, Mace. Jeez. Yeah, all the crap you give Gil for not knowing something, this is Gil's opportunity to lay into you. Yeah, by the I way, know. today, you're blasting me. I never even gave you a mic check. I didn't say your mic was good, bad, or indifferent. I just didn't care. You talked to us for 10 minutes. Well, there's the difference between talking and listening. This is worse than you struggling through John Belushi wow. and Jim Belushi. James Belushi. On who was the principal. Yeah. Oh, my God. Who was the uh, Michael Wright was the villain. Let me ask you a quick question, Mike, before we get out of here. How good are you with a sledgehammer? 
Uh, I'm with Maze on you. that. I'm paying someone for that. I one. got a exactly. white fence for you to paint, and yeah. it's a beautiful thing. No, I have don't. you ever painted a white fence? Wax before? on, wax off. Yeah. Have you I ever painted a white I fence? I don't do labor. Thanks to Frank Close. Sports Bash next.